Hi, I'm Angie Karcher, and I'm here to announce the Best in Rhyme Awards. This year, I'm coming to you from my home in Indiana. Uh, normally, I am in New York City with the amazing Julie Gribble in her Kidlit TV studio, and this year, that just didn't work out, so we have um, worked out a way for me to uh, announce it from here and then briefly we will have the winner on and um, this person will make a very very kind and uh, exciting acceptance speech. Um, I would like to explain a little bit about the Best in Rhyme Award. Um, we do this through the um, Rhyme Revolution Facebook group. I think we have around 800 members in that group um, and every year we take nominations from the group um, for the best rhyming picture books. Um, and then we have a volunteer committee um, that spends many, many weeks um, and months reading and reviewing and scoring all of the books. We have a very, um, very intense rubric that we use to determine the winners. Um, we are looking for a very traditional arc, a beginning, a middle, and end. Um, we do not accept poetry at this time, although maybe at some point we will. Um, and we do not accept published books, self-published books at this time. Um, again, and that is only due to the fact of the volume of, of nominations that we receive and the size of, of our committee and the amount of time we have. So I'd like to thank personally Kathy C. Hall, Darlene Ivey, Ellen Leventhal, Gail C. Kraus, Jen Bailey, Kenda Henthorn, Chris Kuykendall, Linda S. May, Manju Howard, Nancy Riley, and last but not least, especially our valiant leader, Debbie Vitovich. I am greatly appreciative of everyone on the committee, and thank you, Debbie, especially for all of your time and effort and hard work. So without further ado, um, we will begin the announcements. Um, this year, the second honor book um, is Mission Defrostable by author Josh Funk, illustrated by Brendan Kearney, published by Sterling Children's Books. Congratulations, Josh. Josh had a number of books on the top 10 uh, Best in Rhyme books, so he has just been on fire this year. So congratulations, Josh. Um, the first honor book goes to Diva Dolores and the Opera House Mouse by author Laura Sassy, illustrated by Rebecca Gerlings, published by Sterling Children's Books. That's two for Sterling. Way to go. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. And the winner for the Best in Rhyme picture book uh, for this year is Mary Had a Little Lab by author Sue Fleece. Illustrated by Petros Bulabasis, published by Albert Whitman and Company. And I only happen to have a copy of this because I bought a copy from my friend Sue uh, at the Los Angeles SCDWI conference and had her sign it for me because I loved it so much. Um, and then excited to find out many months later that it had actually won the Best in Rhyme Award, um, which I had no involvement with this year <laughs> at all personally. Um, the other books that the authors had sent to the committee will be used as prizes for um, the Best in Rhyme or the Rhyme Revolution event that's coming up this April. And yes, we are having it this year. Um, so stay tuned for more information. That's an, uh, an event for children's authors. Um, where we learn a little bit more about how to write rhyming picture books, what to do, what not to do. Um, even though every conference we go to, the editors um, often say, we don't publish rhyme, don't send us rhyming picture books. That means that they don't want any terrible rhymes. So um, my goal is to um, help people that are writing um, picture books for kids. If you're going to write in rhyme, um, we really need to focus on making it professional. So um, again, thank you so much to Julie Gribble and Kidlit TV, and I will see everyone in April. Hi, I'm Sue Fleece, and I just learned that Mary Had a Little Lab has won the 2018 Angie Carter's Best in Rhyme Award, and I'm so excited and so grateful. I want to thank the whole committee and the Rhyme Revolution group who nominated the book and then chose it as the winner. I really appreciate it and I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much.